Okay, this is a quick overview of the Calypso relay firing card. We'll just go over the various connections. Um, down at the bottom, the yellow yellow uh, Dinkle connection, spring loaded connector, is the 24 volt DC input. It is not polarity sensitive, so it does not matter which uh, is positive or negative. The red, black, green connection is our RS-45 panel to panel connection. Um, the RJ45 connectors here at the bottom and at the top are the same. Uh, this would be coming from the panel. So when you come from the controller into this port, it supplies both the power and the communications uh, through the RJ45 uh, connection. Um, they're all one in the same. And these are typically used as you would come from your panel or your Nexus controller uh, into the top or bottom of your first relay firing card and then you would come out of the bottom remaining port into the top or bottom of your next uh, relay firing card and so on. You would just use these to daisy chain your uh, panels or relay firing cards together. If you're not using the RJ45 connectors, then you would you would just wire from your spring-loaded Dinkle connections uh, from the controller into your first one, and then daisy chain uh, to your next relay firing card. And the <clears throat> next ports would be the four uh, relay ports here on the right side, and these are used to connect the. WCR uh, relays into the firing card and it just uses a standard Cat5 RJ45 um, patch cable um, to connect them. The WCR relays, um, everything is DIN rail mounted so it just has a spring loaded uh, DIN rail clip um, to put it on to the DIN rail so it just twists on um, to attach it to your DIN rail and then use your RJ45 patch cables uh, to connect each one to the relay firing card. And that portion is, is wired up. Uh, the next uh, I'll go over here is there's options dip switches and address dip switches. The address uh, works like all of our other addressing dip switches. Each dip switch has a value. Uh, you can see on here the values are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. So um, when a dip switch is up, it means that it's using that current value. So address 1, you would turn on dip switch number 1. For address 2, you would turn on just dip switch number two. If you wanted address three, then you would turn on dip switches one and two. Um, if you wanted an address of number, say, address nine, you would turn on address four and dip switch number one uh, added together. Eight and one give you address number nine. Um, and so on. So your address is a total of the values added up across your address dip switches. The only option uh, dip switch we use on on here um, from the factory dip switches two and three um, will be on so you won't mess with any of the previous options. The only option you'll use is the uh, option G which is dip switch number seven. This is used to reverse the order of the relays. So with it in the off position your relays would be numbered uh, starting up here from top to bottom one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you turn on dip switch number seven, then it reverses the order. So now this becomes relay number one. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it just allows you to number your relays from either top to bottom in your panel, uh, depending on uh, how you'd like that to be ordered. Um, and that covers pretty much everything on the Calypso relay firing card.